What is up guys, Yellow Gamer here, and today I'm bringing you guys episode 2 of my Angels Rebuild franchise on MLB 16 The Show. Now in that first episode, you guys did a phenomenal job of commenting, a phenomenal job of just showing support, showing your love, and um, I, I really did appreciate it so much. So um, I'm going to be looking at the comments right now. I told you guys in the last episode to start commenting some trades you'd like to see me do, and I was being straight up. I'm going to listen to you guys. I'm going to try to try some of these things, and um, to be honest, a lot of you guys are saying trade Albert Pujols, and I completely agree. We're trying to get him off this team. A lot of you guys are saying trade CJ Wilson also. Um, CJ Wilson, Albert Pujols, you guys want me to get rid of those two players. Um, Pujols is definitely the number one guy I want to get rid of. Now, CJ Wilson's contract is expiring, so it's not that big of a deal if we can't get rid of him. Uh, we're going to lose his contract anyways at the end of the year. But I guess it wouldn't hurt for us to try to get some value for him, but I just want to have as much money as possible this free agency because I think we can get some really nice players. Um, but let's get Pujols in here. Now, okay, well, first, let's look at some trades you guys were saying. One guy was saying trade Albert Pujols, Andrelton Simmons, and a prospect for Nolan Arenado. That actually would be a sweet trade. It'd be awesome to get Nolan Arenado on this team. I wouldn't be surprised if the Rockies would get rid of him because they don't have... I mean, they might as well try to... Well, I mean, he's a young, talented player. That would be tough to do, but we might be able to pull something out of that. Um, the only problem is we don't really have a prospect on the Angels. There's not really prospects. When you look here, I mean, look, there's no prospects on right field, center field, left field. I mean, the Angels really don't have a farm system. The best prospect they have is G-Man Choi, and nobody really cares too much about him. So, um, our best option may be a, a pitching prospect, Tyler Skaggs maybe, uh, maybe a uh, Andrew Heaney of sorts. But Arenado, I mean, he's, he's got so much value. Um, and not only that, but there's so much money that we would have to give him. And the fact is, Arenado is a young player, so he's getting a really low salary, and our pool's money is way too much. So we won't be able to get Arenado. Um, just too much money so we're gonna have to really i'm gonna look around here let's try to get anything we can for pujol okay guys i think we might have a little bit of potential here in a trade i've been looking around a little bit i've been looking at almost all the teams this guy martin prado he's a little bit i mean let's see they want a little bit more but where he gets a lot of money 10 million dollars on the final year contract i'm looking for players that are making a lot of money but their their contracts are expiring the reason i'm doing that is because I don't care if I have to pay him a lot of money this year. As long as I don't have to pay him in the future, I'm fine. Pools, I don't want to pay for five more years. Especially not considering the fact that he's not going to bring enough to the table. Um, so let's add Ichiro. Now let's find a young player. I know it's going to be random having these two players on the team, but we're going to get rid of them next year and get a ton of money and try to have a really big free agency. But um, let's just give him a, a random, relatively talented young player. Let's give him like, I don't know. Let's give him like Holy Chachin or something. Uh, they want a little bit more. TJ Wilson makes too much money, that's for sure. We give him Tim Lincecum. Actually, can we get any more contracts off of here? Why not try to get some more money off? Um, now, most of these guys are in the final years of their contract. So, um, uh, you know, no, no, they're not really interested in any of these guys, are they? That's really how little trade value we have. We have like, no trade value on this team. They were cool with um, Tim Lincecum, though, interestingly enough. So either way, we're going to do our pools and Tim Linscom here for Ichiro and Martin Prado, I think. This is probably the best deal we're going to get out of this. Now, I know it's not what you guys were thinking. You guys were thinking I'm going to be able to flip it and get some crazy player. It's not possible, though. The truth is, Albert Pools does not have much trade value. For starters, he's older. He's not doing that good. And secondly, he's got a lot of money, and nobody wants to pay him that amount of money. But luckily, we're going to screw the Marlins over here. And if they're going to say yes to this, we'll accept that trade. There we go. So um, now we have Martin Prado. We have... Uh, Ichiro, who's not going to get any playing time, which is fine by me. Um, the main thing, the main thing I was worried about is just making sure that I had um, money going into the free agency. Now that we got all that money off the contracts, I'm really happy because we have a. I mean, the truth is, Mike Trout's Mike Trout should not be getting less money than Pujol. So yeah, we definitely had to get Pujol off the books. Um, and all these other guys are on the final years of their contracts. So we're going to be making a lot of money here very soon, especially in this free agency. So, um, what else were you guys saying? Any other people you want to see me trade? Let's see. The main thing was just was uh, was trading. What's his face? Was trading um, Pujols. But outside of that, you guys just recommended a lot of teams you'd like to see me rebuild in the future. And trust me, I am I'm reading those. It looks like there's a lot of people that want to do the Braves. Uh, we see the Cardinals, the Yankees. There's a lot of teams you guys want to see me rebuild. So I'm gonna definitely get to those teams. Don't worry. Um, Can, okay, when you guys recommending to get Adubo Cabrera from the Phillies, let's see what his stats look like. I'll just kind of get an idea of... Um, 80, oh, wow, 85 overall. He's a nice player. Let's see, he was saying I could probably try to get him for CJ Wilson and a prospect. Let me see if that's going to be possible. 
the main thing, yeah, look, CJ Wilson makes too much money, so that's the biggest issue. Um, the tough thing about trading these guys, especially on the, these guys specifically, is they make too much money for me to try to trade them. Um, so how about this? How about, I don't think we're going to get enough, we don't have enough trade value on this team to even try to get any good players. And the truth is, who am I really going to trade for? We don't, we don't have a chance at the playoffs, so why am I going to try to make this team as crazy as possible right now? Uh, right now we're in the rebuilding stage, we're just going to worry about letting our team develop and seeing what happens. So what I'm going to do now is I will sim until the uh, until the end of the season and I'll come back once the season is over and we'll get into free agency and everything. I don't think there's any need for me to guys, for me to show you guys the sim. I highly doubt we're making the playoffs. Under some rare situation though that we do somehow make the playoffs, um, we or I will show you guys the playoffs, but I highly doubt that's going to happen. So um, I'll be back at the end of the season and then we'll start doing some uh, free agency. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay guys, we're going to hop back into it just for a second. The 2016 first year player draft is now underway. You see it's early June. This is time for the draft. Now, I didn't do scouting. I kind of didn't think about that. I started simming. I really hope my CPU for some reason saved me, um, but it's unlikely. So we're going to hop in here. The Angels have the 16th pick. It's not a big deal. I mean, we're not going to probably get anything too crazy, uh, but let's see what we can get. We have... Let's sort the columns. We have any accurate pro we don't have any accurate prospects so this is i'm literally drafting random players i have no clue um so we'll just draft whoever looks good um whoever looks like they have some talent so this guy looks like he might be decent a decent right fielder would be nice but a starting pitcher an ace a possible ace is something i'm really looking forward to getting so i want an ace more than anything else this guy looks good too so I'm, it's, it's probably between this Pablo Feliz guy and Rod Chester. The only difference, Pablo Feliz is younger. So yeah, let, let, let's go with Pablo Feliz. Maybe we'll get lucky. For all I know, I'll be able to get both those guys anyway. So let's just keep going, see if we get another good player. Um, Rod Chester is still up there. My goal is I just want to get an ace pitcher. That's really all I, I'm, I'm really hoping I get lucky somehow and pull an ace out of this. Um, like I said, I didn't scout any of these guys, obviously, so it's not looking like we have a very good chance of getting lucky, but um, you never know. So, got a few more 80, 80 uh, potential guys here. Let's just get this Carvajal guy. Um, and like I said, I did a terrible job, guys. I'm sorry. I should have been scouting. But let's just draft all these players. I'm showing you guys, because for all I know, I might be able to get lucky, and maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to pull a beast out of this. It's very unlikely. Um, well, let's get a closer, too. Let's just... Let's just get everything. Maybe we'll get lucky. Uh, I'm, I'm quite doubtful, but um, might as well try. We'll just get some relievers. I'm just getting the top potential guys here. I, I really don't care that much because since we didn't scout them, I mean, realistically, I'm guessing one way or another. Uh, so I might as well just hope I get lucky. Second baseman. And let's just all draft the rest. I don't think it's that important. When can I actually sign these guys, though? Um... Acquisitions. No, it'll come up in a little bit. I think in a few weeks it'll come up. So I'll, I'll be back in a few weeks to draft or to uh, sign these players, and I'll we'll actually be able to see if I got lucky at all. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Hey guys, we are back to sign some draft picks, and we're 47 and 32. You guys are probably looking at this and going, "How am I doing so good?" Well, let's take a look because I'm actually curious too. One person I've noticed that's crazy though. Wait for it. Just wait for Tyler Skaggs, three and four record. Garrett Richards, eight and two record. So Master Maker is beasting. Tyler Skaggs is 9-0 with a 2.87 ERA. What the hell? Who would have expected that? He is an absolute monster this season. Jared Weaver is doing a pretty good job as a long relieving pitcher. Hector Santiago is doing all right. Tully Chachin is doing what he needs to do. But Tyler Skaggs, he's probably a Cy Young potential player. Let's see. Well, he's not, but he should be. He should be. He's 9-0. He's got better ERA than two of these guys. But either way, what I'm saying is he's going completely off. Mike Trout's third in MVP voting. So let's take a look. You know Escobar is playing like complete dog doo-doo, um, so I'm not even going to pay attention to that. Mike Trout's doing fantastic, though. CJ Crone's doing a pretty good job. Martin Prado batting 280, a guy we traded for earlier, as you probably remember. Um, so our team is not bad. Carlos Perez is batting 309, though, off the bench. Maybe we, we'll have to maybe consider putting him in the lineup. But the thing is, I don't mind if we do good. Draft picks don't mean a whole lot in, uh, in, in the major leagues, because most of these guys don't pan out anyways. Uh, the most important thing to me is that we have a good team and people want to play for us, and if we're actually uh, in playoff contention we might be able to sign some top top notch uh, free agents as long as they think that we actually have some talent and if you look we got jake Ari added coming up in free agency next year and we got some players that are going to be coming up and, and we might be able to get lucky so 
Oh, we're not looking at free agents now. We're looking at... Why am I looking at all this? We're looking at signing a draft pick. Did we get lucky? We did! We got lucky with a few players. 88 overall potential uh, closing pitcher. And then we got these two guys. Uh, the CP already signed them for me. But at 85 potential and an 83 potential pitcher, those are two great pitchers. And even if they don't live up to potential, that's two guys that I'll be able to have as potential prospects, potential trade options. Um, and they'll probably end up being in my rotation one day. Now, none of them will end up being my ace, but they'll be good enough to at least kind of build a roster or a rotation around. So I'm happy with that. Um, so basically, now that that's all over with, we're going to send to the end of the season. Now, maybe I'll make the playoffs. Based off how we're doing, it's a pretty high probability by a highly... I just don't think we're going to be able to keep up playing this good. But there's only one way to find out. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season, and we will see how this team is doing. Okay, guys, we are back at the end of the season. We just finished our last game, and we are at the top of the wild card with a 91 and 71 record. You guys are probably curious as to how we did it, as to what the team's looking like. So I'm going to show you guys what's going on around the league. Um, so you guys just have an idea of how we somehow got ourselves a playoff spot. So lineup-wise, Simmons did a decent job. I don't expect him to do a whole lot. Cole Calhoun did a pretty good job. Mike Trout did phenomenal. 40 home runs, 107 RBI, and a 304 batting average. Definitely nothing to complain about there. Uh, CJ Cohn did all right. Martin Prado did all right. A lot of these guys did decent. There wasn't a lot of crazy hitters. You know, Escobar finished off a lot better than he started. A lot better than he started. Um, but the only real hitter that I'm in, I'm in love with, of course, here is Trout. Nobody else did that phenomenal. Uh, so I wouldn't mind getting a few more nice hitters to surround him with. We might actually end up re-signing Martin Prado. You see, he's actually getting better. If you see, he's improving a lot. He's 85 overall now. And he batted 285. So uh, maybe I'll, I'll pay him maybe like $6 million, $7 million to stay on the team. He's not a bad player. He's a pretty nice third baseman for us. He's playing DH, obviously, but he's a good player. And we might actually consider keeping him um, to bat behind or in front of Mike Trout and then possibly get some other guys in free agency. I didn't think that was how it was going to work, but I'm actually glad we traded for him. Next up, Garrett Richards did a great job. 11-7 with a 3.8 ERA. It's not ace material, but it's still a good job. Ace material, though, is right here. 17-6 with a 3.2 ERA by Tyler Skaggs. He didn't finish quite as well as he started, but he still did a phenomenal job. And that's really what means most to me, because it's not like I expected Tyler Skaggs to come out here and go 17-6. I didn't expect anything near that. Um, so he did a phenomenal job. Santiago, actually, is the one who did worse. Than anyone else on the team, 4.8 ERA with a 10 and 13 record. That's not something I'm actually happy about whatsoever. Um, I expected more out of him. But then both um, Shoemaker and Chachin finished 15 and 7, just with different ERAs and everything. Obviously, uh, Shoemaker got a lot more strikeouts, um, but Chachin had a much, a, a noticeably lower ERA and a WHIP. So um, they, they did a good job, though. I'm definitely happy with their performance. Right now, though, we're coming out here, and we're going to be able to play our wild card game, our one game wild card game. We'll have Garrett Richards on the mound against Felix Hernandez. Now, this is actually a situation where I might even consider playing Tyler Skaggs. He finished third overall, and um, he finished third overall. And I was—I should have shown you guys. That's my bad. I should have shown you. He was third overall in Cy Young voting, though. That's—that's that's, I actually did check that before I cut back in. Um, and you know, what? I think Skaggs has earned it. Going 17 and six, he was an All-Star, the only All-Star on our team in terms of our pitching besides Houston Street, who I should have checked. How did he do? 2.61 area. We might actually have to keep him then. He did, he did a good job, but we'll just wait and see. We'll see how much he's asking for. Uh, but Tyler Skaggs was an all-star. He was third in Cy Young voting. Let's see if he can get us this win. And he can't. He did an absolutely horrible job. He only pitched four innings and gave up a lot of runs. So, um, yeah, okay, well, that was our playoff chance. We kind of messed up. Trout had a home run, though. Trout obviously wanted it, but it just wasn't enough uh, to, power us, to power us past the, the Mariners. So, that's too bad. We had a better record than the Mariners, so we probably earned it, but we uh, we weren't able to beat them. So that's what matter. that's that's what it comes down to. They had a better ace, and that's in the end. That's really what what does it most. I, I didn't actually check who won the finals. I should have checked that. Who was it? I, I was not paying attention. Um, the Giants beat the Astros, so the uh, one of the World Series teams is in our division. So we definitely have some competition here. But let's advance to the offseason real quick before we get back into this, as Ichiro retires and then this random other guy retires. Um, Let's go back here. Oh, Ichiro retired. He's retiring an angel because we were the last team. He was able to hit the 3,000 hit mark on our team, so that's something cool to keep in mind. Um, and he was definitely one of the greatest players of all time, so he, he earned it. Um, either way, let's go back into this. What I want to do is most specific options. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I have a lot of this stuff on auto. Free agency, I need on manual, and this I need on manual. Typically, I don't do that because a lot of... Uh, signing everybody takes a long, long time. Um, but let's get back here. Let's get into signing everybody, and I'll be right back to get everybody signed. 
Okay, guys, we are back here in the free agent market. So like I said, I was going to do all the free agency signings. We don't have that big of people actually leaving. The biggest people we have actually leaving the team are probably Garrett Richards, Martin Prado, Tyler Skaggs. Uh, Tyler Skaggs is the top three Cy Young candidate. Of course, I'm going to give him some money. Uh, try to get him back. So I'm going to get, go through this real quick. I'm um, going to show you guys what guys have decided to resign. So first, we start at the bottom. These are just all these random minor league prospects. You're wondering, I mean, you're probably wondering why I didn't sign a lot of these guys. For starters, they're really old. And because their age is so high and because they've probably had MLB experience at some point in their career, they're asking for like $600,000. I'm not going to sign them for $600,000 if I can get one of these guys for $70,000. Uh, my job is trying to get as much money as possible into free agency. And I did a phenomenal job. If you look in the bottom right corner and compare it to the bottom left number, I should have about... 70 million dollars going into free agency i'm sure to keep going you see a lot of these guys that didn't sign like i said i looked closely and i was going to be paying them way too much money and it just wasn't worth it to me now when we're looking at big contracts guys that were actually worth signing uh, we gave mass shoemaker three years not a ton of money about three million dollars a year i wasn't too i wasn't too worried about doing that i'm um, just in case another one of my starting pitchers doesn't develop or doesn't work out for me at least i have shoemaker as a backup option cj crone did all right for me last year um he was a pretty decent hitter so we might as well keep him on the team he, of course, I expect to develop quite a bit, so we signed him. Mike Morin being one of the better relieving pitchers, 80 overall. There's not a whole lot of good relieving pitchers in the MLB nowadays. Uh, we're going to give him a little bit of money, only like $700,000. He didn't actually ask for that much. Fernando Salas, we are going to give... It's a little bit of money. We're going to give about $4 million a year, but it's only for two years. And the reason I'm doing that is because, like you said, or like I said, good relieving pitchers are hard to come by. He's 82 overall, and he'll probably be in the low 80s for as long as we have him. So I want to keep him as long as possible. Skaggs being an all-star. Uh, we're going to give him his money. Cole Calhoun, we're going to give about 4 or $5 million a year. He's a pretty solid right fielder, so I have no reason I'm wanting to get rid of him. 84 overall right fielder, only having to pay him $5 million a year. Totally worth it in my mind. Uh, Joe Smith, like I said, another good relieving pitcher. We actually have a pretty nice bullpen when you look at it on paper. Uh, we're going to pay him about $4 million. Houston Street, about $4 million. Only for one year, though. He is getting up there in age a little bit. And I don't want to give him too much, too much money if he ends up actually declining. Um, so I'm going to give him all this money, and hopefully it all pans out. Next up, Martin Prado, we're giving for $6 million. Um, I think that's worth it. He had a pretty nice year last year. He's one of my better hitters on the team, actually. And he's, he got better somehow. I know he's getting older, but he actually got better. Um, but he batted 285, which was extremely well. And if you look at his whole career, he's batting usually in the high 280s, low 300s. And if you can do that for my team, that'd actually be a really, really big boost. Because um, we need some more contact hitters. Now, I don't have to actually give him that much money. He is getting a little bit older, so I'm only giving him a, a one-year deal. Uh, for six million dollars and hopefully that all works out and then lastly we're gonna give Garrett Richards the biggest contract out of anyone eight million dollars over five years he's an 87 overall starting pitcher he's going to be my ace and if not my ace my number two pitcher for a very long time and a number two pitcher is worth only uh, that's eight million dollars that's really nothing a lot of aces get close to 20 million so um, I'm actually really happy with that so we're gonna sim through here and just get an idea of who wants to sign so you're gonna just see me pressing circle a lot um we'll see some names come up but let's see manage contracts Yep, all the big names did get signed. A lot of these guys aren't really important for me to sign. This guy's got some potential. We'll sign him. Um, but a lot of these guys, like I said, it doesn't really matter if I sign them or not. It doesn't make a big difference. Uh, and sadly, we won't sign CJ Wilson, Jared Weaver, Hector Santiago. These are some guys that we're letting go of. That's because Santiago wanted too much money. CJ Wilson and Jared Weaver are just a little bit too old, and they're going to be declining and likely retiring very soon. Um, and it wasn't worth it for me to get them. I also won't be getting Giovanni Soto or Yuna Escobar. We had a backup catcher who was doing a great job, and you know, all right, and then Soto's getting up there in age. Then you know, Escobar is getting up there in age, and not only that, but we have Martin Prado now to man the third base position. I don't want to give you know Escobar like four million dollars if he's not even going to be the starter. Junior and Troy, and I don't know if it's that they if they did or didn't sign. I wasn't paying attention. Um, do we need to hire any coaches? Let's check this real quick. Um, coaches, we need a pitching coach, and we need a. Pitching coach, a third base coach, and a farm director. So let's get that real quick before we even get into the exciting stuff. Um, pitching coaches for hire. Let's just get a good coach. I want I want top-notch coaching. We'll make him happy. Got max interest, third base coach. Um, plus three speed with this guy. I like that. Plus nobody else is offering him, so we should be able to get him pretty easy. Then we need a farm director. This one looks like the best one. Um... So we'll get him money. Okay. So now we're going to actually manage real contracts and see who we got in free agency. And we have some players. We got some actually really nice players. And it may be hard to tell because like, there's not like any you know, MVP candidates up here. But there's some really nice players. For starters, let's see. How much do we have to give for a nice closer? 
twelve twelve million dollars not worth it for a closer. We, we got um, Houston Street for like five million, so that was actually a really nice deal for me. I'm actually really happy with that. We got like Wade Davis. They're looking for eleven and a half. Kenley James is looking for eleven and a half. That's too much money. Too much money just for a closer. Um, I know closers are important, but it's, they're not they're not worth twelve million dollars. I can tell you that much. Starting pitchers. This was really this is actually kind of upsetting. I was hoping that we'd have some good starting pitchers in there, but let's take a look at the roster. Our rotation won't be that bad. I wouldn't mind having a better number five pitcher than Shoemaker, so let's look at if we can get anybody nice. Or plus, we're losing Santiago, so we need one more pitcher. Um, so let's go in here. Let's find. I think I saw Hellickson. Um, I like Jeremy Hellickson. Let's see who's coming off a better year. Branderson was 10 and 9 with a 3.69. Jeremy Hellickson was 6 and 7 with a 4.2. So Hellickson did worse. To the same age. He's a lefty and Hellickson's a righty, though. I think I need a. Well, we lost. Mm, who wants less money? He wants 6.2. Hellickson wants 7.4. So let's go with Brett Anderson. Um, I actually, like, technically, I like Hellickson more. And I know a lot of you guys probably wish I got Hellickson, but um, we're trying to be smart with money. And, and the truth is that um, it's not. It's not. He's not worth $7 million. He really isn't. So next up, we're going to look at. Let's just look at our roster right now. We're going to go. Um, piece by piece and see what we need to do. We got good relievers. We got three top-notch relievers, and these two guys are decent enough to uh, to do a good job. So we got five solid relievers. That's all we need. We got a solid closer in Houston Street for at least one more year. We got Carlos Perez, who I like. Um, since you're Corona, I wouldn't mind another first baseman, but mainly we need a second baseman. We need a left fielder. Um, and also, look, Angel Simmons got in the 90 overalls now, so we have actually one of the top shortstops in the whole league. Uh, so that's something to be excited about. So we need a left fielder. We need a second baseman. Now, those are the main two priorities, left fielder and second baseman. I saw Carlos Gomez. He's obviously a center fielder. I wouldn't mind a right fielder if... if well, Cole Calhoun could play left field if I ever needed them to. Just Jose Bautista is declining big time when you're looking at those stats. Um, a lot of these guys are declining, actually, big time. It's actually a pretty nice prospect here. 19 years old. Look, he's got a nice stat, 73 overall. I'm going to give him an offer. Yeah, okay, that's... I mean, he's not going to play, but that's a, that's a nice prospect. Um, Carlos Gomez, he's only he's not getting that much money, actually. No, I want to give him 15 million, but... I mean, that's not that's not bad. Or we can just give this guy Franklin Gutierrez for one year. Um, it's a decent guy to man... I mean, like I said, there's not that nice of a free agency this year. So uh, it wouldn't hurt for me to get a player who can just do good for a year, and then we can hopefully get more lucky next year. Um, I wouldn't mind that. But let's see. I wouldn't mind getting like Wilson Ramos either. Just, just maybe get lucky. But this is ten million dollars for a guy who's not that much better than my current starter. It's not worth it. So I'm trying to be smart with my money. I'm trying to have as much money as possible. And I was hoping this could be a big free agency. Um, there's not a lot of stars. I wouldn't mind getting Carlos Gomez though. We have a lot of money. We have, we have a lot of money. Let's get Carlos Gomez, or try to. We're giving him way more money than we're giving him 17 more million dollars than the Astros, so he should come and want to play with us. Um, let's see what else can we do. But, you know, let's get Bautista for one year, one year, seven and a half million dollars. Why not? Um, and then let's get Gutierrez for three years, 2.6 million. So we got some outfielders here. Now what else would not? I mean, what else would be nice to get? Can Eric Ibar play second? He can't. Can any of these guys? Stephen Drew can, but. None of these second basemen are good enough to actually be better than Gia Vitella. Um, Encarnacion, we need, the thing is we need a DH. I know these guys are going to be declining, but we just give them one-year contracts and if they sign, it's not that big of a deal. Um, relieving pitchers, none of these guys are going to play for us, so it doesn't matter. And we can get in a roll to Chapman, we can get a Kinley Chance if I want to. We have a lot of money, that's what I'm saying, is we have a lot of money, so if I want to, I can get them. But do I want to? Do I want to give him that much money? I can have $35 million going into the next year, plus all the contracts expiring. So yeah, it's not worth it. We can have a lot of money going into next year. So I'm trying to rebuild this team. I'm not trying to rush it. Um, it could, like I said, it could take a few years. It could take a few episodes, a few more episodes, um, ideally. But let's sim a little bit. And let's see if we can get a few of these guys. Um, sim like four days. Jose Bautista accepted. Edwin Encarnacion accepted. Franklin Gutierrez accepted. Carlos Gomez accepted. And third base coach accepted. Let's see what else. Oh, the big deal, yeah. The big biggest deal in free agency that's going to come this year is Carlos Gomez signing to us. Because realistically, there's better closing pitchers, but none of them are probably important enough to uh, 
sign and rolls Chapman signed to the Giants so that'll be a nice pickup for them um so that was a quick free agency I expected a bigger free agency I really did but there wasn't that many nice free agents I'm not in the mood to uh to rush myself and make bad decisions just because I want to make a better team so quickly next free agency hopefully will be a little bit better hopefully there'll be some more depth um, and that way we can really rebuild this team. But let's take a look. So we got Perez, we got Encarnacion, and CJ Crone. That's a nice first base duo. Uh, Gia Vitella, it's not the greatest second baseman, but hopefully I can get a better one next year. Third baseman, I actually like Martin Prado a lot. Um, I don't mind having him for at least another year. Shortstop, but we have Andrelton Simmons. There's no complaining there. He's one of the best shortstops in the league. Uh, left field, we got Franklin Gutierrez, or we can have Gomez play left field, which is what I'll probably end up doing. Then right field, we got Calhoun, we got Bautista. We have a lot of options. Now, I, I got a lot of outfielders. I know it's like a, probably a little bit too much, um, but I like having a lot of outfield depth. It gives me a lot of options. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably have... Hmm, so we have we have five starting quality outfielders. So we'll have Gomez probably playing left field. Maybe we'll have Bautista, DH, or D, him, him, DH, or we'll have Encarnacion, DH, we'll have one of those guys. But either way... At least now I can say I have too many players. Last year we had, we didn't have nearly enough talent. Now we have a lot of talent. So um, worst case scenario, we'll just trade one of these guys and get something out of them. Um, but we're gonna send the rest of the off season and and that's basically it. So I'm just gonna stop the video here. I, I won't force you guys to watch the rest of the off season sim. But tell me what you guys thought of the moves I made in this episode. I know there wasn't that many great guys that I could have gone for agency. Um, tell me what guy you wish I picked up. Tell me if you think I made good moves with the money I did have. Now, please also realize I have about $40 million left over. So going into next year, we're going to have tons of money to trade for whoever players we want. Or if we save that money and use it right, that next year's free agency, we can have close to $80 million again. And we're going to be signing some real top-notch level prospects or top-notch level players. Um, so if you guys enjoyed, please click that like button below. Make sure to comment your opinion of this series and of this video in the comment section below. And lastly, subscribe if you have not already. Stay tuned to this series and other series I got going on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.